Hey, today I'm again talking about three of the most iconic 1940s films. And the names of those three movies are His Girl Friday, Bicycle Thieves, and Fantasia. A best of is... His Girl Friday. This is a 1940 film starring Rosalind Russell and Cary Grant. And spoilers, I friggin' loved this movie. It is terrific. The basic premise is Rosalind plays this woman who really wants to get out of the newspaper game, specifically because her old boss, Cary Grant, who was also her ex-husband, is still madly in love with her. And so she wants to get away from him because, you know, it wasn't a good relationship so she needs to not do this, plus it's not a healthy lifestyle. But she was a really, really good reporter and also Cary Grant's still in love with her. So like he tries to convince her to come back. And so it's basically just about that happening, but also just like them reporting on this crazy other thing that's happening. And it's great. This movie is unique in that it has all of its characters talk incredibly fast. Like I think the IMDb trivia said normally people talk in movies around like 80 words a minute, but this one's like twice that something it's insane they talk so fast but even though they're talking so incredibly fast I at the least was still able to understand them and comprehend them like it perfectly made sense that speed just worked so so well that like the story was just going at breakneck speed but it like it worked and it like it fits the setting too because like they're newspaper people like they need to get out as many words as fast as possible because they need to be the person who breaks the news and so ah, it just ah, it works so well well, like there were several times I just had to pause the movie because I'm just like That was great. Ugh. I loved it. And yeah, it was, uh, it was just so so good. I really really loved Rosalind. Cary Grant was pretty good He plays a very manipulative person and his character was just very very interesting I mean their dynamic was so interesting because she knows that he's a very manipulative person But then she still like falls for the manipulative stuff even though she like she calls him out on it It's still just like okay I know you're just trying to manipulate me right now But that's awesome and I'm gonna do stuff with that basically and it's just uh, it's so so good I really really love this movie Totally 100% recommend. It's, it's amazing. Our next up is Bicycle Thieves. This is a 1948 Italian film and it's pretty dang good. The basic premise is this very, very poor man gets a job he so desperately needs, but he has to have a bicycle to have the job. And then someone may or may not steal it. And it's really good. It's a very, very sad story. Just about a man super incredibly desperately trying to make a living to feed his family, but just the whole world is taking a big old dump on him and there is nothing he can do about it. Like he is just like desperately trying to crawl out of a hole while there's like a mudslide coming down into him. And it's just, ugh, it's sad. The main actor gives a great performance. I'll also add that there's a little boy, his son basically tags along for most of the movie. And he also gives a very, very good performance even though he's like six or something. I will add though that like, I wasn't super connecting to the movie. Like I was enjoying it it was definitely good but it just didn't quite pass over into the really like category until it got to the end because it had a really 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 good ending that I did not expect and I was like yeah there's no way I can't put this in the really liked it's a really like that was great that was amazing so yeah I would again recommend this one though I would recommend it just a little more cautiously like it's definitely really good it's just a very sad story so you got to be in the mood for a very sad story but if you are it works it's great it's a wonderful movie. And lastly is Fantasia. This is a 1940 Disney movie and spoilers, I hated it. The basic premise is this is like if the Windows 2000 screensaver had classical music played in the background. That's basically it. Like legitimately, it's just a series of music videos with some of them being literally just random colors and shapes that are moving, I guess, in beat to the classical music behind it. There are other ones where there's actual characters doing stuff but there's no plot and there are a couple where there's some plots and those are the better ones but still ugh. <sighs> 
I have no doubt that this was like a big thing back in the 1940s. Like it's it's definitely beautiful. And I'm sure, especially like the part where you see the wavelengths playing out, that would have been really neat to see. But in 2023, like I see wavelengths every day I edit. That's not fun. I don't know. I will add though that, well, I'll add two things. One is the Sorcerer's Apprentice. That's the iconic Mickey Mouse cartoon. That's in this. And that's great. That was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that a lot. <laughs> though the narrator did speak spoil it right before it played, so that was a thing. But then also, I'm not the target demographic for this. In modern times, I'm not the target demographic for this. It's like three-year-olds and younger, because it's literally just bright colors and shapes to good classical music. And so like, this is perfect to just like plop a two-year-old in front of, and they'll theoretically be captivated for two hours, because it's bright, shiny colors and whatnot. I'm just a hair past two, so. Didn't, didn't quite tickle my fancy. So yeah, I didn't enjoy it. I didn't finish it. I wouldn't recommend it unless like you're really into classical music, though I would imagine you would have seen this by now. Or if you are like two years old or you know someone who's two years old, then I would recommend it for that two year old, but not you as a non two year old. Probably shouldn't watch it. Alrighty, now for today's ranking. First up, we got His Girl Friday sitting at number one in the really liked category. And I have a good strong feeling that it's gonna stay at number one for a while. We'll see though. And then after that is Bicycle Thieves sitting at number four, also in the really liked category. And then I'm bringing up the rear, rightfully so, is Fantasia sitting at number six in the didn't like category. And this is out of a total of six old movies so far this year.